you know that a billion people worldwide are obese? And that's not all. A billion people out there still use tobacco, which are two of the most preventable causes of premature death. It's crazy to think that so many people are willing to put their health at risk due to their habits. So, I mean, why do we engage in these unhealthy habits anyway? Well, it's often due to a combination of factors, such as our genetics, our brain neurotransmitters, the media, and peer pressure. When it comes to junk food or smoking, the most common way to combat these habits is to teach people to avoid their craving altogether, distract themselves and be aware of the cravings inside their bodies. It's interesting to note that our ancestors were wired to seek out and enjoy fat and salty foods because it was a rarity. Nowadays, companies out there know this, so they like to include more salt than ever, more fat than ever, and try to take advantage of us because they know we crave these. They want us to desire this even more, but it's up to us to make the conscious decisions not to. So do you guys ever feel like you're living on autopilot? You know, you wake up, you have a cigarette, or you have your cup of coffee, maybe you smoke another cigarette, have another cup of coffee later in the day, and the cycle just continues. It's important to recognize that we are usually not aware of how we think or feel, and the feelings will go away on their own if they are not pampered and acted upon. Instead of being hard on ourselves like most people do, we need to be kind to ourselves like the person you love the most. Addictions are less likely to happen when we have greater access to alternative ways to meet our own desires, and our environment is one of the main reasons we act on these addictions. So changing your your environment out there is crucial you guys one of the secrets of success is giving up control by not resisting these thoughts or feelings and just observing them as if we were looking from a distance we remove all power that these feelings have over us it may take some practice but it is worth it discipline is key having a strong reason why is so important because the right motivation allows us to tap into those reserves and persevere even when our self-control strength has been run down and starting with one habit is crucial because once that habit is complete we can direct our willpower onto another one. Pre-planning for temptations is another aspect of self-control. Use replacement activities to get rid of those bad habits. Maybe you spend way too much time on social media. Replace that habit with reading a book. It may be hard in the beginning, but over time, these positive habits will replace those bad habits and the resistance will be much less. These positive habits will feel a lot more natural and our bad habits will start to fade as we accept the new us. Lastly, use the countdown system. Wait at least 15 or 20 minutes if you feel the urge to engage in a bad habit. After that 15 minutes, you may not engage in this after all. I know I've done this so many times where I think, oh, do I really need that bag of chips? Or do I really need to watch this Netflix show and binge watch the whole season? But when I wait around 15 to 20 minutes, my mind starts thinking about other things. I get distracted. And before I know it, I'm doing other things that I never even planned on doing that'll benefit me in the long run or way healthier for myself. Well, that's it for this week's video, guys. I know this one's a bit shorter. I currently am really sick. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more great content. Thanks for watching.